so i and hello this is again alan the forex algo trader in today's uh, video or a uh, lesson uh, i am going to show you how to send and uh, receive notifications and messages from your mt5 uh, client trading terminal or a broker that uh, you are using this case doesn't really matter so i think this one also applies to mt4 i don't know but we are going to do this one on mt5 so whenever i initialize this uh, chart you can see a notification will be sent to my phone in this uh, case and you can see we have this type of a uh, a kind of a message over here which says notification sent and i, I can actually confirm this to you that uh, that notification has been sent so i think i will uh, uh, start another one so on my phone i think we can redo this one again so what i will do is uh, i will uh, initialize this once more and then we should wait for a notification a notification should uh, appear <laughs> let us wait for it yeah there it comes from the metatrader 5 which says it should contain the actual one so it says ea file phone notification initialized in this case then that is exactly what we want to do in this uh, instance over here so you can see we actually get this kind of a uh, meta trader 5 notification on the phone automatically in this uh, case so maybe you are running this one on the on a vps and you want to keep record whenever you have i can show this one again i can come over here and uh, initialize this one and then you can see we should be able to get that notification right away so maybe you are running this one on a vps on a virtual the that come on a virtual uh, vps stands for virtual private server in this uh, case where we should uh, we, j we you just like uh, initialize your expert advisor or uh, you just like automate your trading strategy so that it trades for you without you being constantly on the chat or uh, or uh, on your desktop on your computer on your laptop or your trading machine or uh, whichever platform or a uh, machine or a channel you are using to trade so actually you can see we are able to get these kind of uh, notifications in this case and uh, i can actually confirm this one once more and you can see we should again be able to get the notification over here so yeah the, the notification now comes so this notification could be something like a uh, open uh, a trade has been opened like a trade now like uh, there is a buy signal uh, there is a sell signal a trade has been opened at this particular price at uh, at this particular time with uh, this stop loss and take profit and this kind of uh, ea op uh, is the one that opened this kind of a uh, trade yeah something particularly like uh, that one so and i am going to show you exactly how to do this one in this uh, case so right now what i am going to do is uh, i am going to like uh, to show you exactly how to do this one so the first thing of course that you need to do is open meta editor and you can simply uh, do this one by clicking on this little ide icon over here which activates meta editor for you so i will open the navigator okay that is new navigator is it control plus d here yeah? control plus d so I'll open the navigator i'll go trading then click on new expert advisor from template click on next then provide in the file name so let's say phone uh, phone notification ea expert advisor click on next next and then finally finish so the first thing of course that you want to do over here this is a real simple a real simple one so i will just like uh, arrange my code in a bit and then this is what we are going to do so let me compile this on so what we are going to do okay did i compile yeah okay it was compiling so let me compile it again so the first thing that we want to do over here is uh, of course we need to go ahead and uh, send notification so it is as easy as that one so just send notification is the function that you want to use so send notification as you can see it is a boolean type of a function then we need to just uh, input the message over here so this message can be something like uh, whatever that you want so i can actually have a string okay small caps 
string then we can have something like a message is equals to like a uh, ea ea with the name with the name then maybe you can get the name of the expert advisor uh, let's say let's say we can concatenate this one so let's say uh, chat get string chat get string in that case them provide chat id zero or whichever the chat then providing the the expert name in this case because this is typically an expert advisor if you want to provide in a script so just need if you are using a script so you just need to use the script so in our case we just need to go ahead and then we can uh, say something else like uh, has been initialized let's say as let me bring this over here so we can say that uh, as been initialized on the chart on the chart which chart is this one so or uh, you, you can have something else like uh, what can we say what can we say maybe on the chart then can provide in the symbol name so let me provide in the symbol for the current chart in that case so over here we can then provide in our message and then everything else should be working fine so we can compile this one you can see that uh, uh, everything now is uh, working fine actually you can even confirm if we are able to send this kind of a notification so we can since it is a boolean function since this you can over your cursor over the wording press f1 on your keyboard and the mql5 reference will open for you so you can see over here it is a boolean type of a function uh, in this uh, case so what we need to do in this uh, instance is that uh, we need to go ahead and uh, we can let me see what we can do we can create a boolean a boolean variable over here so we can see uh, we can say that uh, a send send not notification i can just have notify is equals to bra 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 so we can use this is send is uh, why do i have a send message okay <laughs> is sent notification in this case so is sent we can check we can check this one so if if a said notification is equals to true is equals to true which means we are now able to send this uh, notification we can then go ahead and tell the user we can maybe print to the journal uh, i am too fast <laughs> don't mind so we can print to the journal and tell the user that uh, notification has been sent su successfully so we can say that uh, notification sent sent let's say is that the correct wording or successfully so we can have over your phone notification sent successfully so we can then let me compare this one everything now is working fine so we can then have an else statement over here so let's say else else if else if this uh, is sent notification it's not is equals to true or uh, is not equal to true in this case doesn't really matter or equals to false in this uh, instance then we can print to the journal you can print to the journal that uh, error error sending phone notification so i can just get rid of this one error sending phone notification so maybe we can have the error code so error code is equals to then we can get the last error can get the last error so we can reset this reset the last error over here because we will be using it once and each now and then so over here we can then go back that is actually everything that you need to do to to send this phone notification so what that we need to do is a phone we need to source for our expert advisor for notification ea just search for it then attach it to the chat so then we should be able so here you can see phone notification sent successfully and we should actually see that one mm, 
here it comes so don't mind my, my messages so here it comes ea with the name with the name for notification e, uh, ea as we need we need something somewhere we need uh, over here we need a space so compile this one and then we should be able to get another notification on the phone we should be able to get yeah yeah it comes so it says that ea with the name with the name for notification ea has been initialized on the chart us 500 and you can see over here that is exactly what we have that <laughs> this is exactly what we have just as the message displays for us however this you cannot will not be able to send this uh, notification if 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 uh, if the a setting is not uh, accomplished so let me show you how to accomplish that setting so the first thing that you need to do is uh, over over your uh, go to the tools section over here then options or you can just press ctrl plus o to open uh, these uh, options so over here you can see you we have the notifications in this uh, case so the notifications over here you need to enable push notification so if we disable that one then click on ok we should not be able to send this uh, notification we get an error error code uh, that uh, we were not able to send this notification so what you need to do you need to enable this one okay tools tools options then we need to enable the push enable push notifications then you need to provide in the meta quotes id over here and actually to get this meta quotes id you can actually you need a meta trader you need to have installed meta trader on your phone so what we need to do i can actually source for the meta trade over here so i have already installed it so what we need to do is go ahead and click on this meta trader 5 on my samsung phone then or whichever your phone that uh, you are using then from here you need to go ahead and uh, navigate maybe whenever you open your meta tra meta trader 5 uh, whichever on, on whichever phone that you have installed on it uh, i'm using an android phone so maybe you are ios or uh, any other kind of phone could be different but this is exactly what you need to do so you need to go to maybe the quote section is what is uh, displayed whenever you initialize it so you need to uh, over back you need to go to the you need to go to the messages section and then right over here at the topmost you can see these uh, you can see these after your name or uh, the name of the uh, whichever you registered you are trading thing with it you are trading uh, account with it you can see over here we have mqid over here over here we have mqid so you need to click on this mqid and then you will get the meta quotes id in this uh, case so just need to go ahead copy my my id then as you can see mine is uh, displayed over there then you, you can just like uh, copy it click or just copy and then you, you need to provide it over here uh, afterwards so you need to provide it over here so that is not the id that uh, you need to provide and then once you provide on it you can just like uh, click on ok and then the message whenever you initialize it the message will be sent uh, like we should wait for it and see so we have a message we should receive another new yeah there we have another new message in this uh, case so you can see we are able to receive uh, this message messages from this uh, terminal so you can see my terminal is uh, the one that i have you so you can see it, my terminal i mean my account my demo account in this case actually is uh, it starts with 10 101 and ends with the 379 and you can see actually on our mobile phone on our samsung mobile mobile phone this is what we have dot demo dot xness and then yeah that is exactly how you can uh, receive these uh, messages so this is now like the basic thing that uh, you can do with this uh, with this code that we have over here so if you want more more customized uh, notifications you so you can just feel free to go ahead and uh, you can have them however you want maybe you want to like uh, 
get a notification on the phone whenever your VPS somewhere opens a trade. Maybe you want to get the specifics of the trade, let's say the opening price, the 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 what else? Let's say the opening price, the what else can you get? The opening price, the the take profit and yeah bra 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 and such kind of things so basically this is how you can get phone notifications on your phone in this case from the meta trader 5 in this case or your trading terminal again i think this is also possible in meta trader 4 however i cannot uh, affirm to that one i cannot attest to that one because i haven't done it uh, in this case so you can just go ahead and uh, use it so basically that is all bye bye i think this uh, lesson was uh, helpful and uh, bye bye and see you on the next uh, video lesson so yeah bye bye